artists. I hope you enjoyed learning about Wassily Kandinsky. Now we're going to try to create our own inspired Kandinsky abstract project. We're going to be using lots of shapes and lines. Some things you might need. Pencil. I have, if you are in art class, um, different shape patterns that we can use. I'm going to need oil pastels. I have some neon and plain, and I'm gonna be using chalk pastels. If you do not have those things at home, you could use crayons, you could use colored pencils, markers, um, you could even use paint if you wanted to do that as well. The other thing I have is a ruler, okay? All right, well, we know we need lots of shapes. The other thing we're gonna make sure that we do is um, intersect some different lines and overlap because I noticed that's what Kandinsky does in his. So I'm just going to take a few shapes and I'm going to trace some of my shapes. I might intersect and overlap. some of them. Now, the cool thing about abstract art is there is no wrong way to do something. This is your own way to express yourself. Okay, so you can turn them into things. I am just tracing a few different shapes. If you do not have shape patterns at home, you could use like containers and lids, bottle caps, things like that to help you with some different shapes. Okay, so I am just going to trace some different shapes. Maybe you want to um, oops, got some smudge on my finger. Okay, I'm going to actually take and outline a few of these. Just for a little variation. Okay, now besides just shapes, we know that Wassily likes to use lines. So I think I might add a few lines into my project. I'll make those be the same, I think. And I don't want just straight lines. I think I want a few other types of line. I think I'll make a circle coming out of that line. So you can kind of get the idea of putting lots of shapes and lines and different things on your paper. Now, I'm not going to finish it all with you right here. I just want to give you some ideas. Okay, so when we color, I'm going to start, I'm just going to kind of outline this first one in white. And I know that seems weird to you, but if I were to... Color. Now remember with oil pastel, we don't have to color too hard. Because I'm going to actually use my finger to smear some of this in. Okay, now that white will kind of leave a blurred effect around that edge. Okay, and then. I'm actually going to take, I have a neon one. I'm gonna kind of blend some other color into that. Just to give it a little value. And I want a little blurred edge effect too. 
I'm going to take my finger and just kind of blur that a little bit. Okay, so that is using, I'm going to add some little streaky lines through it. Okay, the other thing you can do, black is kind of a cool blending color. If you like to add the black around your edges, that's fine too. Okay, you really can't go wrong with this project. Okay, let's kind of create it how you like. Um, the other thing you can use is chalk pastel. And I would say you wanna use chalk more for like backgrounds and bigger areas to cover in. So maybe you want a little effect with your chalk in your backgrounds. Okay, maybe, sometimes I like to add a little detail in with the chalk too, just to give it a little texture, okay? So there's one section of my project. Okay, so now next one, okay, I wanted this circle to not be part of that, so I think I'm gonna go around this one in black. I'm gonna use some blue shades. Okay, now I'm not coloring outside the lines, but I'm not, I don't need to color perfectly with oil pastel, because remember we can blend it. And I actually think I might blend it. I'm gonna go over this shape, because it's gonna overlap this one. I think I'm going to put in some other color with this one. Now, you can blend it in, you can leave it like that. It's kind of up to you, the look that you're going for. I am gonna blend this black line a little bit on the edge but I don't think I'm gonna blend my oil pastel so much inside this one. It's really up to you what look you're going for. Okay, so we're gonna continue this throughout. I'll probably add a few more shapes and lines and stuff over here. Um, you don't have to fill in everything. If you do, that's kind of like an energized, exciting um, abstract feel. Um, if you leave more blank spaces, you get more of a soft or um, not so busy feel. And that's kind of depends on what you're going through, going for. You might want to choose colors based on your feelings like Kandinsky did. So think about those colors. I was going more for a bright, electric, happy feel. Um, and, you know, maybe you're going to go for a more somber or an angry feel. Or just decide what colors you're going to use based on your feelings today. All right, I hope you enjoy this project. At the end, Mrs. Fisher will put a um, picture of her finished project just so you can get an idea of something that you could do or maybe look like, but I want you to go with what you feel like creating. Um, when you're done, take a picture and upload it to Canvas. All right, have fun with this project.